Okay, this is a test for recording a session uh, with the Delta Shell. Uh, we're going to uh, create a triangular mesh grid for a typical case of, uh, let's say, a barrier reef with uh, an area of uh, a concentrated uh, uh, grid resolution and then even higher grid resolution on individual reefs. So to show that we're in the Delta Shell menu now, I'm going to click on the grid feature. I have to double click, yes. And then we open the RGF grid application. I'll resize it to the recording area. It seems to be about right. How do we do that? Let's assume that we want to represent the uh, area with a bunch of polygons. So I'm going to create some polygons here. Polygon. Of course you can also import polygons, but I'll make it easy on myself now. Like this. And that's one polygon. I do a right mouse click to end that one. And then I... So this is the general area. And then here is the area of the barrier reef overall. Suppose it's something like this. So this is an area where I want, in general, some higher resolution. And now I'm going to create a number of typical islands or atolls or whatever it is, or reef areas where I want higher resolution still. Again, right mouse click ends the polygon like this I can have all sorts of banana shapes doesn't matter okay but you can imagine that you could also import this from uh, some land boundary files or so um, I will save these polygons because sometimes I do something stupid and then I lose what I've done so I save my polygons here in a place where I last was doing some things and it is the Berger demo polygon. Now what I'm going to do is, is for each of these polygons, I'm going to uh, set uh, the resolution along that polygon. Now I do that as follows. I go edit polygon, uh, polygon, uh, edit, edit, polygon, select is where I want to go, select. But first I take this one, the outer one, and now it's a bit iffy but um, what I do is I go edit polygon refine equidistance then I double click here but for some reason I still have to click this one and now I do the magic touch P I just press P and then I can say here what my resolution is it's 200 meter and you see, I got this regularly spaced uh, grid along that polygon now. And don't forget, at the end, you have to do a return. And then you see things turn purple, and it has actually done it. Now, then I go, let's see, no, that's not what I want to do. Um, I go, edit polygon select just to check I still have that one but I unselect it again now this one and so the same thing again edit polygon refine equidistant I say I select all the line pieces and then with P this one I'm going to give a resolution of 50 meters okay again return 
and I go back to select I unselect this one and now I can do all these ones in one go that makes life easy so again I go edit polygon refine equidistant I make sure that you select all these everything is active and then again I do P and now I say it's 20 meters OK return and now I have got everything so just to make sure let me see everything I got that and that yes and let's export no attribute files save polygons I call this rear demo refined so the first one was just the, the corner points of this polygon but now I'm storing the whole thing with with the different refinements okay so the next step is that I'm going to create a triangular grid from these polygons and is under operations and then you say create grid from polygon boom and you see that uh, it's sort of uh, it doesn't do it between all the polygons but uh, um, but it's taking about half the space uh, so I'm just going to save this part of the grid export grid your demo one and now I will unselect the outer polygon polygon select and I think if I now do it again so I leave the other ones in then I think it'll fill the other ones with nice triangles operations and look at that it's nice so it's doing the other part I'll export grid I save this one uh, spare your demo too and now the last step is that I import the other one there a demo one I got them both now I want to merge these two so what I do is operations now let's edit allow multi select and you see they're now both in in the active color um, so I can do operations merge grids and I got my really nice grid where you see that it of course fits perfectly at the polygon because they're always using the same polygon points to support the grid you see that this option gives you very regular grids that are I'm pretty sure pretty orthogonal and uh, so uh, I'm happy. I'm going to save that grid, export grid, and now I just call this barrier demo. And if I, no, one final check, have I really got everything? I delete everything. is what I have saved indeed what I wanted yes it is 
Okay, that's it.